talk about today. And what we're going to talk about today is the difference between hydration <laughs> and moisture. Okay. All right, there is a difference. And I know a lot of people have asked you that question. Um, so it's, I think it's a very popular topic that people want to know the difference or yeah, why there's a difference. It, you hear it all the time is that uh, you got, oh, let's see, properly moisture balanced hair, but there's no actual moisture inside the hair. You got anywhere from, uh, the hair makeup is anywhere from 70 to 95% protein and the rest of it is hydration. Now our body produces a enzyme, a chemical, don't, don't ask me all that stuff, I'm a simple hairdresser, but anyway, <laughs> it's called hyaluronic acid. Yeah. And it, it, it helps us to attract water from the atmosphere. Oh, really? It helps us, oh, the, the greatest way that you can get um, hydration into your hair is to take a shower wet your hair and that's why your shampoos are going to be a little bit more alkaline than what your conditioner is because remember when i tell you that you need to shampoo your hair at least twice because the first shampoo is going to gently remove any kind of debris that's on your hair and then the second shampoo is going to prepare it for the moisturizer that's coming next i.e your conditioner. So when your conditioner is coming in, it is what is going to help your hair absorb and to seal in hydration. Because without hydration, your hair is just like pure protein, so it gets real stiff and it won't bend. And with, I think we might have a photo of uh, Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Derek, we got photos of what hydration and oil Her, look like. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, now I gotta go potty. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here if, if is... If that wasn't enough, what, <laughs> here's another one for you. What everybody... Oh, oh there God. you go. Oh, that is so pretty. I want to go there. So anyway, now you know hydration is water. Okay. Your hair has to have it. And if you don't have water, then your hair is going to dehydrate, turn brittle, and break kinda, off. Kind of like your, like your body needs hydration, your hair, same thing. So yes. drinking water is not enough. It is not enough. It is, it's one of the ways that you're going to be able to hydrate your hair. But once the hair grows out of your head and once it, it gets a little bit of length to it, like that four inch line, then all your natural nutrition is not going to, it's not going to penetrate. And so everything, so from about your chin down, unless you intentionally feed it, nourish it, or water it, then you're you're just going to dry or what do they call it dehydrate mm -hmm. you're going to dehydrate your hair you're going to get split ends you're going to get mid shaft breakage and we, we don't want that because one of the people in the production staff i think he's one of the producers here his name is cash mm -hmm. and he was out, he was out cash. on a boat all weekend now that's Derek. oh okay. there's cash there's there's cash in the back there <laughs> All right, so, oh, and there's Andrew. Okay, see, see guys, what you, got, what you got to learn about this great place is we get our own production group, knuckleheads. We get our own camera guys, knuckleheads. And so. And this is like, we have no script. We are just. Yeah, we, don't, we don't script anything. It's so much more fun. This that is way. just, you know, All right, this is us. So, this is real right here at Real News Network. Yeah, and so Cash goes out on the boat. And the wind is blowing, the sun is shining. It's like 106 degrees in Dallas this weekend. <laughs> so all you guys out there know that we're in the summertime. Yeah, it's it was hot. hot. And so when Dry. I came walking in the studio, he comes up to me and goes, okay, I got a question about my hair. And first of all, he got a haircut. And it didn't look that great when I saw the photo of it on Instagram. But it looks pretty good now because it's grown out <laughs> a smidge. So anyway, he was talking about his hair. It felt dry mm -hmm. and it felt real brittle mm -hmm. and then he said buddy it actually feels painful <laughs> that's our new word of the day <laughs> painful felt painful and so what was going on is it was totally dehydrated and so it's, it looks real frizzy and dry mm -hmm. so i told him that we would get him some of the products that we're talking about today that is going to eliminate the dehydration because of the essential oils. And I think Derek has a photo of one of the 
best essential oils that we can find. Oh, there it is, coconut milk. It is the fatty acids. It is all of the natural oils it, that are hydrolyzed inside this beautiful coconut. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, that the I'm not coconut. A big, I'm not a coconut eater. I don't like coconuts to eat, but I know that they're, they're ah. fantastic for your skin and hair. Oh, it's incredible for your skin and hair. But I tell you what, the coconut oil, when it's hydrolyzed, the molecules are so small. I know that's huge for you to listen to. But anyway, the molecules are so small, they go inside the cuticle, they close it down, and they hold all of that hydration inside your hair so that all it does is gives you proper moisture balance. Okay. And see, that's, that's what it's talking about.